Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifest through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 94. NASDAQ is up five. SP's off four. Gold. Gold contract up four bucks, trading at 1572 an ounce. We have silver up 23 cents, $18.41 an ounce. Light sweet crude off 57 cents. $62.70 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10 year down two ticks, 129.06. 30 year off 14 at 157.13. And King Dollar, King Dollar up 314 ticks, trading 96, 9.85. The euro is at 111. The yen is at 108 and a half. And the pound is at 131 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so last Friday, what you had is that you had all the indices, uh, well, the S&P, the Dow, as well as the NASDAQ uh, get, uh, let's see, was it Friday? What day is today? Tuesday, right? So it's Thursday. Thursday. Thursday, uh, bottom line, they all go to a high. If we take a look at this S&P, what you're going to see, we'll do the SPY first. The SPY out here, bottom line, had a nice day up, no, no doubt about that. You know, had we got up to 324.89. The differential in the SPY was that the SPY didn't have the volume as it was basically getting into much higher price. The NDX 100, as well as the NASDAQ composite, whole different animal. If we take a look at the NDX 100, what you're going to see is that you actually have a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. The three Qs, they did 31 million shares, taking out your B point out here with 18, big number, right? Now, that being said, the bottom line, the real question was going to be, you know, are you going to get a full ABC structure up here, or are you just going to go up and test the high? Well, we missed the high by two pennies today. I do expect we're still going to test that high. We'll see how that baby shakes out. Inside the NDX 100 today, there's no doubt that the NDX is leading the market, and the NDX 100 themselves, folks, the bottom line, that can lead the market up and that can lead the market down. It has done it for years. The NDX 100 drags the NASDAQ composite up. The composite drags the rest of the indices up. And you can see the move inside the chip makers today. Yesterday, the big move out here was Google. Today, you get the chip, whole chip sector like moving like in an incredible way. You get Micron Technology up almost 9%, 8.8%. You got Western Digital up 6.6%. You got Microchip Technology up 6.2%. So the bottom line is that you can see that the bottom line is that they're going to be chipping anything and everything. And what you have here inside the Micron is a monster ABC structure on the way up. And this was already at all-time highs. So the B point on this is $56. Your A point down there is $44. Let's call it $45. So you got $11. Bucks. That sets up a $63 dollars and 63 cents and you're at 58.35 right now pretty wild so the low for the year inside last 12 months this would be uh is 32 high 58 and it's got it in spades uh no doubt some of the higher volume equities out here in this market today is that you have general electric down 11 cents you got uh microns the big one apache corporation uh they had an oil find off uh, in South America with uh, Total uh, SA, that's up $6. That's a big move, $32 stock. It was a $25 stock this morning. Apple's flat out here. Uh, Tesla, also a monster move. Tesla, Tesla's up $19, trading at $470. If we go over to Tesla and take a look at it, what you're going to see out here, bottom line, this thing is and a confirmed ABC structure in the way up. Took the B point out. On Monday, took it out with volume. Your, your B point on this is 435. Your A point is down there at uh, 328. So we're talking about what? About 107 points A to B. 
that sets up a 509 in Tesla, and it doesn't look like it's going to take that many days to actually get there. You remember something, that an ABC structure, folks, also goes like this. Your A to, P point, a to B point is a straight line move. Your B to C can chop all over the place. C to D, straight line move. That's just how they go. That's why folks get frustrated. That if, if it's already start moving, you can't get into the equity, can't get into the future, can't get into the currency when you're in ABC structures. Very tough if you're not in at the C point or close to the C point. Uh, also out here, I'm in uh, Dave White. He was talking about it today. Pretty cool. Uh, it's actually Tesla's birthday. Uh, so Tesla was born today, uh, January 7th. And uh, needless to say, uh, that, that equity uh, is, is quite a trip. Inside the Dow Industrial. So let's look at the Dow because it's so intriguing. What we had out here yesterday is that, and don't <laughs> we could have a replay in this in about a second too, by the way. Yesterday, what you had is that the Dow was down all day yesterday. And then as soon as we start climbing into the, into the close, that baby just took off. It went from red to green. Uh, the, the Dow Industrials yesterday had a, a price spread of uh, 290 points. You know, we had a low out there that was 28,418. The high was 28,708. And so bottom line is that you keep an eye on that. Let me, let me see the movers inside there because I expect what you're going to see. NDX wants to test the high. Composite wants to test the high. More than likely we'll, we'll get the uh, S&P. But if, we, if this Dow comes all the way back again today, I, bottom line, Dow's going to go after it too. Inside the Dow Industrials today, strength versus the weakness out here. You have Boeing putting 32 positive points. Goldman putting 15 um, Dow DuPont put in four. So not, there's not big numbers there. Uh, taken away from it. Merck is a negative 14. United Health 12. JP Morgan 12. Chevron 12. Uh, it wouldn't take much, though, for some of these negatives to just get less negative to turn around and basically get rid of that negative 77 points inside of the Dow Industrials as we come into the close out here. Notes, bonds still want higher price. Bottom line, get over and take a look at the TLT. You'll see it also in the, inside the TLT. Bottom line, TLT out here. Goes topside, beginning of the week, pulling back with much lighter volume. Still wants higher price, lower yield. Stay right there, folks. Come back when I'm at Mr. Basil Chapman. We're going to be talking markets.